Hello filmmakers, it's Carrie with Filmmaker Central once again with another You Asked For It. So this morning I posted a video showing video editing with the Mac Mini M1 with an external hard drive and it was a spinning media hard drive. So it was a pretty good test, I thought. But people were like, that's great, but you're using H.265 and that takes up less uh, bandwidth. So you really need to do a better test with something like ProRes. Here we go. All right, I have Evo 2 Pro 10-bit log footage converted to Apple ProRes 422 running off the same Lacy, 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 however you want to pronounce it, spinning media hard drive. I will put a link in the description below so you can reference the exact hard drive I'm using. And we did the speed test this morning, so I'll put a card up above so you can find that video. So how is it going to run? Well, it's loaded up and let's check playback. Use optimized media is turned off. Use proxy media is turned off. Timeline proxy mode is off. Okay, render cache is none. So purely right off the hard drive, here we go. Okay, now, did you see that? Okay, watch the frame rate up here in the top, okay? When I started it, I'm gonna move to a different spot just in case, when I start it, there is a hiccup. So there's a tiny little hiccup there right at the beginning, and then it starts playing nice and smooth. Now I can't really explain that hiccup and I can run this whole length of footage, no problem. It only happens in those first couple of seconds. So let's have some fun. I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did this morning. I'm gonna add some color boost to it. I'm going to add some contrast to it. I'm gonna add some mid-tone detail to it. And we're gonna hit play in the color tab. Hiccup and smooth playback. So, short, sweet, to the point, I hope. I hope this answered some questions. It worked, okay? And to me, it's not a surprise. If we look at the bandwidth that is required to play that footage, it's really not that high. And just again, <laughs> I wanna be on here. It is Apple ProRes 422, 30 frames per second, 4K footage at a 10 bit, uh, 10 bit depth. So really is the file, really is playing off the hard drive, and it's not a like spectacularly fast buffered drive. So my thought on doing this video was I'd start with the hard drive, and if it failed, you know, or just had too many problems, I would then move to an external SSD, and if that didn't work, I'd move to the internal SSD. I'm not even gonna bother, because the other two are significantly faster than the hard drive, so I really don't see the point in doing the other tests when running off the spinning media hard drive is working just fine. So I hope this answered some more questions, uh, cleared up some doubts, maybe uh, helped you decide if this is a machine that's right for you or for, for right now anyway, because that's what I'm saying. This is a good machine for me for right now. I am gonna be able to push this machine past its limits. Maybe that's gonna be on RAM and I'll move up to a 16 gig machine and see how that works. But for literally 99% of the work that I do, the Mac mini eight gig performs beyond expectations. So there you have it. Another, you asked for it, ProRes 422 running off the hard drive and it works. So. If you have something else you want to throw at me and have me test for you, I'm happy to do it uh, because I kind of have no life, apparently. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I, I enjoy doing these and I hope it helps people out. 
Thanks for watching everybody. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Like 90% of the people who watch this channel don't subscribe and I would really appreciate it. Just, just, just tickle, just tickle that little subscribe button. Just, just tickle it, you know? Maybe, maybe a little a finger dance on the like button would be nice too. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.